in the automotive world, there is one platform that showcases engineering probably the best, and that is Formula One. Behind me, there are 10 Canadian engineering students, and by the end of this contest, one of them is going to be lucky enough to work on a Formula One team. Welcome to the Infinity Engineering Academy. When we started Infinity Engineering Academy, we wanted to deliver this message about the brand being human focused and giving an opportunity to young talents. And this is what we're doing. Uh, we recruit every year seven engineers and only one comes from Europe, which is usually where the motorsport industry recruits uh, talents. The other six come from Canada, like today, uh, US, Mexico, China, Middle East and Asia Pacific. So diversity has become something very important. Last year, over 12,000 engineering hopefuls applied online for the seven spots. In each region, the top 10 are selected from a third party specializing in engineering. The 10 Canadian candidates are flown from all over the country to Montreal, where one will have a chance of a lifetime. We test them from different point of view, not only the, the technical skills, but soft skills a lot. On the first day, the candidates go through various tests, team tasks, and grueling interviews. I'm not sure I could handle this type of pressure. I get a chance to talk to last year's winner to get a little insight as what's going on through their minds. I'm sure their minds are going a mile a minute trying to make sure they remember every single formula from, from their studies and making sure they don't you know, put a foot in the wrong direction and really trying to showcase what, what they have. So that they really have to draw on a lot of different aspects, you know, both the technical and interpersonal aspects of their life. One of the things that we have done is we have designed uh, a task for uh, the Academy Finals based on a classroom exercise that we often use in uh, management classes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put this challenge to them and observe how they go about making the decision. We're actually less interested in what they decide than in the process they follow, right? The questions they ask, uh, how analytical their approach is, uh, how they use evidence to support their points. At the end of day one, the scores are tabulated and the judges narrow the field down to three. On day two, the final three test their skills at the Montreal Grand Prix with a tire compound challenge where they experience a different type of pressure as they compete in front of the very team they may be working for and thousands of racing fans. The final challenge, the students face questions from the media and their answers and thought processes are analyzed. With all the data compiled, the judges discuss who they think will be the right fit for the team in the upcoming season. This year, the winner is Chase Peltier from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology. One word to describe it would be excitement. I'm really excited to uh, you know, continue my, my career path in, in motorsports, and it's really exciting to be part of Randall Sport Formula One and also Infinity um, as a, a global leader in, in automotive engineering. Congratulations to all the chosen candidates who can hold their head high knowing that just making it to this point is a jump start in their engineering careers and is a huge victory in itself. <laughs>